Hi everyone, um, just wanted to show you all some cool new additions to the household that were 100% free. Okay. This was uh, given by Albert's work. And we just have our little curios in there. And it needs dusted. We just started filling it up to see how it would look. But it still needs dusted out. And I like that. And it's kind of dark in the bottom. Well, I guess you can see better with this camera. But uh, those are for our curios. And now for our next acquisition. Hold on. This is new. Well, not new, but uh, it was given to Albert by his mom, who got a new refrigerator because this one was too big. And it just fits our hole up there perfectly. Um, now, we didn't know this until later after we got it, but uh, this came from a funeral home. <laughs> Yes, Albert's brother works for cleaning funeral homes and doing stuff for them. And they were giving away this old, well, it's really not that old. It's still in pretty good shape. But they were giving away this refrigerator and it too needs kind of cleaned off. Hasn't really been wiped off yet. But, uh, whew, can't wait to get some uh, EVPs off of this. <laughs> We might have a haunted refrigerator. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Anyway, let's continue on. Well, before I get to my readings, I want to show you uh, something else I got recently. First, let me show you this. I've always wanted a crystal ball, okay? And I saw one on Wish or some channel like that. And they showed it huge in a person's hand. Well, I got this. Which is basically a glorified marble. Okay. So cut forward about uh, six months or so. And once again, I see... A nice deal, I thought, on crystal balls. So, I saw it was, wow, it was 60 millimeters big. That's a lot of millimeters, I thought. Damn you, metric system. This is all I got. A little bit bigger than the marble, but, uh, yeah. Now, let me show you pictures that they showed where I ordered this. And it's very disappointing, but um, I'm going to keep it. It's too much of a hassle to send back. But hopefully next time I'll get the right size Oh, my desk is a little bit uneven here. But anyway, there you go. Be careful when you order. Especially you Americans out there who uh, order through, uh, with only a metric system sizing. Because it'll get you every time. All right, so on to the readings. All right, I'm getting ready to do the, the random name picker for the full reading. All right, here we go. I put all the names in 
and now I'm going to pick a random name from that okay well that was fast I normally like the wheel spin but this one's different it picked up Susan okay now there's only one name of each person in here so Susan it's Susan Parker's vlogs okay so congratulations Susan you won the full reading and I'll give that to you in just a bit I'm setting up to do my readings right now now I'm using the Tibetan singing bowl it brings about a, a calm feeling in the sound it gives off plus there's certain intonations that they believe attract spirits and I think this may be one of them but here we go Okay. Now we have a lot of readings to do today, but before I get started on any certain per persons, I'm going to uh, read a, a group card for anyone watching. This may or may not apply to you, but um, then again, it just might. I'm using the deck called the Soul's Journey. And what comes up is humor. Humor is always a good one. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Well, I think this card kind of applies to me. It's got a little Buddha down there on it. Happy, laughing little Buddha. There are definitely parts of life that require your serious attention, but you have to learn to have fun. Don't neglect things that bring you joy or make you laugh. Besides the emotional health benefits, well, the health benefits to your physical body, your emotional and mental bodies reap huge rewards for the art of joy. Seek out the people who make you feel good about being alive. Avoid cynicism and pessimism. Always look as your cup at your cup as being half full instead of half empty. The endless chatter of this physical dimension can seep into your conscious mind, so do your best to listen to happy music, read soul-enriching fi fiction, and be wary of movies or TV shows that can darken your mood. Happy people attract happy people. Well, I'm a happy person. I have my dark side, too, I like. So, if you're watching, this may have been for you. I think it could be for everybody just a little bit, to be honest. That card. Everyone's too serious. There's never enough fun. Okay, Lori, here we go.
Okay, the first one up is the Golem. A close friend acts on your behalf. The Golem, a close friend acts on your behalf. And I'll read the meanings there in just a sec. Next up, you have the dragon, and it says strength and wisdom. What am I doing? You can't see it that way. Ooh, and the stars. A long journey brings rewards. And, okay, the golem. It represents one who is indentured or motivated to do your bidding, such as a loyal friend who acts on your behalf or puts your interest before their own. When abused, though, the golem may become an instrument of vengeance or destruction. Next one, the dragon. It's the lord of the bestiary and thus represents the great great strength, wisdom, and wealth. The dragon may also symbolize a dangerous adversary or worthy challenge. And finally, we have the stars. And the stars represent a voyage that spans a great distance. It may also indicate a separation or possible reunion. Your dreams will become reality. A journey brings rewards. And I also like to think of this as it could not not actually be an, a, a physical journey, but also uh, a mental journey, a journey of the mind, uh, something you're trying to overcome, a change you're trying to make. And... Uh, it says your dream will become reality. But avoid this adversary here. And uh, I guess it's saying don't abuse your friends. Because they can, they can be become your adversary. Maybe that's what it's trying to say. But do that and in the long run everything will pay off. Hope that makes some sense for you, Lori. The next reading will be Carl. Past life reading for Carl. First one you got, Carl, is Lessons and Blessings. Next one is Male, Female. And Transportation. This card, Lessons and Blessings, is a sign that the situation you're currently experiencing is a result of prior lifetimes. Take a look at the other cards that, that go along together with this card to get a sense of where or when that life occurred. This means that you learned important lessons which are bringing blessings to your present lifetime. Congratulations. You have mastered how to turn painful events and memories into growth experience. 
you can apply the same strength to every area of your life. Next one, the male-female. This card signifies that you've lived most of your life in a different gender other than the one you embody in this life. For example, you may now be living as a female, while in your pre previous lifetimes you were a male. In such cases, gender confusion and even health issues are often related to this change of gender over lifetimes. Because for the most part of your lifetimes you lived as the other sex, you may not feel comfortable in your own skin. If this is your first lifetime as a woman, you may develop gynecological issues or even experience infertility. If this is not your first life as a man, you may not relate to traditional masculine roles. This card asks you to have compassion for yourself and trust that your soul is doing the best it can. Remember that your soul is the result of all your past experiences. And transportation. And the transportation card signifies that you had intense experience, experiences involving transportation in prior lifetimes. This is especially true if you presently have phobias related to airplanes, cars, and so on. And these fears don't dissipate as a result of getting traditional counseling or hypnotherapy. In those cases, you likely suffer a traumatic past life event in some type of vehicle, which has caused you to lose trust in it. You may have been involved in the invention of a form of transportation or related technology, and that knowledge wants to serve you in this lifetime. This includes those who lived during the time of Atlantis when transportation was fueled by solar and crystal power. Your life purpose may involve reawakening the knowledge of alternative modes of transportation. This could be environmentally beneficial to our world at this time. All right, Carl. I hope some of that made sense for you. Now, next up is the dice readings. And this one was wanted by Sheila. Okay. Sheila. Okay. Well, looks like there, Sheila. You have Mars, which is a fire symbol, and you have Cancer, which is a water sign. So you have lesser fire over water. This represents the nymph, flirting, plucking at the emotions. The picture it gives, a mental picture it gives, is a smiling, cheeky spirit of water and fire. Water and fire mix harmoniously here with the emotional equilibrium of water raising to excitement by the small but persistent flame. Any attempts by the fire to incite anger or battle will fail through, the, through, through lack of strength, but the surface of the waters will be warmed and cheered by the effort. Love will be acted on, not with hot lust, but sincere and merry kisses. This is a warm and happy reading. It allows water to retain all the loving emotion, but adds just a pinch of fun. Be careful not to reject the advances. Water left cold can mean a person unable to lift out of depression or wallow without moving forward. Instead, Seize the fun moments that life brings every time they are offered. 
Fire's warmth and energy is a gift we should take whenever it happens. Taken to extremes, this can be somebody refusing to be made angry or violent, but instead staying true to their feelings. Staying in touch with our watery side is a healthy, caring place to work from. And fire's adrenaline-filled call to action is not always wanted. Fire is fun to be around. It's noisy and bright, and life would be boring without it. This doesn't mean that we should give in to its demands every time they appear. Our days would be loud but short if we did. Water's influence is valuable. It keeps families together and allows for peace, compassion, and con contemplation. Using it as a shield against fire is often a good idea. A lesser fire is a dancing candle flame here, kept safe in the environment of caring and emotional water. These elements together are always a bit insubstantial since we don't have an image from our daily lives to picture them like this. Earth has edges, the sun is a circle, but it's difficult to imagine how water and fire hang together in space without others involved. This means that the combination of them has a sense of constant movement and change. When they are paired in the oracle, something is happening and things will have fizz. Look at all aspects of love and relationships and think about the actions you can take right now to have fun with them. This is a very sexual reading in a frivolous and joyous way. It is a warm bath emotionally, but with a flickering light drawing you forward to new things. The cheeky nymph has a smile. Okay, Sheila. So, um... It's saying, uh, be sure to have some fun with life. Don't take everything too seriously. But also don't go to the extremes. Okay. And, uh, hmm. Yep. Have fun. <laughs> it's saying, have fun, go for it. Live a little. All right, Sheila. Now, we have a, uh, a list of people who want room readings. So, let's get into that. Okay, first one up is uh, Maureen. Maureen. Okay. Here we go, Maureen. Um, okay. Boy, this is kind of a rough reading, Maureen. Um, it shows family problems and, uh, needs not being met, um, anxiety and worry come with this room. It wants you, it's warning you, telling you, you need to keep your energy up, your strength up, 
uh, try to stay positive because it looks like things are going to be kind of rough here coming up. Um, and, and knowledge, uh, try to be, uh, wise on your decisions during this time period. Okay. This shows that, uh, someone is going to betray you. They're going to breach your loyalty. And, uh, Boy, it's a lot. It looks like this situation is going to last for a little while. Um, it, it just, there's no rushing through it at all. It's, it's a bad situation. Um, it warns about you. Somehow, I don't how, know how it, re, it uh, relates to this betrayal. But it's warning you not to be stubborn. Um, Listen to advice when it's given. Uh, try not to be uh, foolhardy. Okay. So it looks like things are rough. You know, try to stay positive. And uh, watch out for this betrayal. All right. Next, we have mittens. Okay. Now for you, Mittens. I see a period of harmony coming up. Uh, blessings. Uh, joy. Uh, affection. And uh, that affection might go into the realm of uh, actual desire. Maybe. Uh, wisdom. It's a good time to teach someone else. Take someone under your wing and uh, help them out. Um, your life may be tested at this point, though. Something is going to test you. Um, a good time for it. Aspiration. Inspiration. Excuse me. Inspiration. And uh, you seem to know your stuff. So uh, not a bad time to uh, be given out advice, too, if, you, if that's necessary in any case. Then I see something coming to an end. Um, you're going to have to give up the old and uh, accept the new. Whatever is changing, whatever is new coming into your life, um, it, it, it's saying you just need to accept it and uh, go with it. It might not be easy. Change isn't always easy, but uh, just go with it. Now, um, I see some sort of upset in plans. Something's going to be delayed. Maybe through uh, a loss of some sort, you're going to lose something and maybe uh, cause about a delay. Um, could be unexpected travel. And if that's the case, I don't expect it to be long travel, maybe just like an extra 
some sort of extra trip that you weren't expecting to have to make out um, and not long distance necessarily. Now, uh, you too, your life has uh, kind of gone stagnant, um, inactivity, and tensions are high. But in the end, I see uh, purity, um, a change, something is coming forward. Um, this is the card of fertility, and uh, that's in all senses, you know, even uh, being fertile and creating things of art or ideas or plans or whatever, anything that you can possibly create. Um, perhaps there's a, a birth coming in your family but uh mostly i think this is referring to just that general produ production that's that's the word i'm trying to come up with production is going to be really good for you all right mittens hope that made some sense Katie. Okay, um, this is telling us right off the bat that um, something that's uh, in your destiny to be is coming about here soon. And there also could be some sort of mystery, something that the runes cannot or will not tell for some whatever reason. Um, could be secrets being revealed soon to you or perhaps your own secrets might be revealed i see you going forward it's a good good time for ambition um there's breakthroughs and new ideas and you're just going to have a breakthrough of some sort um growth and it's a good time, too, uh, for following your intuition. You know, trust your gut feeling. Because you're, you're not going to be wrong. Although, somewhere along the way, you get sidetracked here, it seems. That might be what the mystery thing is about how it happens. But you're going to end up going off course. Um, and it warns about uh, being uh, stingy, being uh, really uh, possessive of things. And uh, try not to do anything inappropriate. Um trickery someone's messing with you or will be messing with you interfering in your life in some way um 
deceit, possibly. Um, and I see things coming to an end. Um, something, something old is leaving your life. But at the flip side of that, when something leaves, something new happens, something new comes. So don't don't grieve the lost. Just deal with it and accept the change when it comes. And last of all, okay, after this deceit thing's going, gone, taken care of, handled in whatever way, um, I see uh, progress. You know, a bright future is coming up. Um, there's going to be changes made, movement, and you're going to be able to trust people again after after this bad period of being deceived. You're going to be able to once again trust people. Okay, so uh, it looks looks real cheery here in the long run of that reading. All right, Katie, hope that made some sense to you. Now, African Sun. I believe you said you weren't sure which reading to get. I think this one might uh, be the correct one for you. Let's see. Okay, a uh, good uh, time for a relationship uh, between you and someone else. Um, some sort of partnership or like a friendship, a business deal, a lover, a family member. Something between you and someone else. I, uh, there's a sort of love going on here. Uh, gifts might be coming your way. Um, a very fortunate time for you. Also a good time maybe to find that special someone if you haven't already. Um, now I see things going slow. Slower than what you'd like them to go. Um, you, you might feel kind of drained coming up here. It's going to be a period of uh, cooling down. Uh, separation maybe from somebody or something, uh, and your focus, you need to realign your focus, it's saying. Uh, watch out for trickery, deceit. Um, someone's going to really try to, uh, mess with you here. Um, I see you having a period of weak will, low energy. Um, possible illness, um, or if not, maybe, uh, you, you missed uh, an opportunity on something. And finally, I, I see that things in your life are going to reach their limit. Okay. There might be upheavals, uh, watch, be careful about taking risks. Um, there could be delays in your life. And, um, 
it kind of ends on a negative thing here. So, uh, um, yeah, and it seems to go bad when someone starts messing with you here. So if you can try to uh, catch that early on, you might be able to avoid this this last part going on. All right, African Sun, I hope that made some sense to you. Here's my new reading table, guys. It replaced the old coffee table. A little bit smaller, but uh, I'll make do. Okay, give me a minute. Let me set it up, and I'll be right back with you. First one for the tarot reading is Texas. I don't know why I didn't make this a little bit bigger. Not used to this new table size. Okay, Texas. All right, Texas. Um, hmm. I'm not sure how to take this. Um, it looks like you've been given good advice on money. But elsewhere, things are not going so hot. I mean, this looks like good good advice or a good payoff on money, but yet something's still going on behind the scenes. Um, now, you've, uh, you've taken time in the past to think about what you're doing without acting on it. And it looks like you finally did, and it looks like you're living pretty good but recently, the Wheel of Fortune's turned against you. And which might be what this is referring to. And, um, unrelated to the money issues, but, uh, I, I see bad news uh, coming from the, ho the home, the family life, something along those lines. Okay, now this card is another reflection basically of this one where uh, it says you had been thinking about stuff, planning out stuff, not acting on it yet, but uh, this talks about where you actually have acted on it. Um, might be a, a bad time for you getting along with another person uh, could be a partner, could be a family member, could be a friend, a business partner. Um, and also I see more of a, more of a lenience toward 
the spiritual aspect of life, unless on the, the monetary Um, I see news coming that's uh, going to be upsetting to you. It's going to bother you pretty bad. And you're going to be left um, kind of nervous about where to turn, what to do next. All right. Um... And it kind of leaves you hanging there at that at this time. Uh, I'm not sure what move to make next. And probably with good reason after this news you've gotten. But just hang in there and uh, hopefully it'll get better. All right, Texas. Now we have rain coming up next let me shuffle them up for rain Okay, rain. Um, at this particular time, you've got the world at your feet. Okay, everything's going great. But yet, uh, there's something missing from your life. You seem to be like looking in the distance for something that you're not getting. And you're, you're just kind of dreaming on it. Um, in the past, you may have done something foolish, uh, went about your business, not really paying attention to what you were doing or how you were going about it, and you probably made some mistakes. Um, I see, uh, good news coming up. Someone's going to give you money, someone's going to give you advice on money. They're going to give you something of monetary value, maybe. Um, but uh, there's something you've been working on, and it just isn't paying out. I don't understand exactly what it is. Something, uh, some sort of labor, uh, something job-related or something. It. Uh, it's not quite paying out. It's not a good time for work or looking for a job or anything like that. Um, but now coming up in the future, I see that all changing. Not necessarily about the work, but uh, your life's going to take on this uh, almost like a magical, something almost magical is going to happen to you. Unexpected. And it's it's a real uh, teeter-tottered situation, you know. Um, it could sway in either way, for or against you easily. But right now, it's in your favor. So enjoy it while you can. Uh, I see something in the past bothering you. Something really weighing heavy on your mind. Um, possibly giving you nightmares. I won't say it's that extreme, but uh, it was pretty bad. And you seem to have, uh, or you will soon see, um, to uh, look a little bit more toward the, the 
materialistic side of life and less on the spiritual, something's going to uh, change your outlook just a bit. But it won't last, just a temporary thing. And it looks like, uh, yeah, things are out of control. You got a real up and down reading here. It's like you're in control and then it's, it's like, it looks like life's pretty crazy or will be soon for you. But in the long run, okay, trust your intuition. That might get you through all of this. Trust your in intuition, follow your instincts. Okay, that'll be your, your your saving grace in all this is your ability to rely on your instincts. All right, Rain. And next we have Spirit Stalker. Okay, an observation here, first of all, is that there's a lot of uh, stuff dealing with swords. That means uh, struggle, uh, win or lose type situations. Um, it looks like life's going pretty good for you right now. You're, you're fairly content. But it's on uneasy ground because you're afraid that anything you do is going to um, alter that happiness. So you, you're kind of being real careful about what you do and how you act. And you're almost afraid to really appreciate this happiness because you're afraid it's going to flip on you at any time. This may be the reason. In the past, someone has stabbed you in the back. Um, they've betrayed you, and it, it upsets you at the time, but you've gotten over that, it seems. You've overcome that and learned to deal with it. Um, you had a, a good run of intuition. You were able to rely on it pretty good. Um, a balancing thing, though, it's... Uh, good and bad it's been a real struggle it looks like here and that could explain the, the rest of the the thing um you've gotten good news recently or you soon will um and that makes you very happy whatever that is someone's going to give you something maybe it's going to make you very happy Now, in your future, I see some craziness going on. Okay, um, times will be a little bit unpredictable. But not necessarily bad, just unexpected things, weird things, but not necessarily bad for you. All right. Uh, I see uh, news of a loss coming up of some sort. You're going to lose something, a, a struggle, um, a conflict of some sort. You're not going to win out. 
and I see like petty bickering and squabbling going on uh, between you and others or one other or more multiple others um, and it just it continues and it stops and it continues and it stops and it's like an ongoing thing that's not uh, improving anytime soon and it's going to ultimately lead to uh, some sort of loss for you or you, you will feel like you lost out on this this struggle here and um, that's pretty much it all right spirit stalker sorry it wasn't any better than that just bear with it Now for Susan, I'm going to draw a Soul's Journey Oracle card, or three, I should say. I'm going to draw three. Let me shuffle them up here. Forgiveness, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Forgiveness. Next. Adversity, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Adversity. And the next one is fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. You can never flow with your natural energy of love unless you realize the negative energy of hate, anger, intolerance, or blame. Every soul in your path has free will, and you have no control over that. What you do have control over is how you react to their manifestations of others' free will. Holding on to that negative energy will strengthen karmic cycles, and forgiveness can break that pattern. The most important person you must learn to forgive is always yourself. Blaming yourself for failures blocks the natural flow of love, and will attract all good things into your which will attract all good things into your life adversity no one ever said life was going to be easy obstacles are presented to you so that you may overcome them believe that you will because if you don't believe in yourself no one else will confidence comes to those who have succeeded in conquering adversity and then the next hurdle won't seem as daunting Adversity is an opportunity for you to reach out to your soul family. You are not alone in this time of challenge. If you do need help, others are waiting to offer assistance. This test may have come into your life to teach you to receive rather than to give. The outcome of all choices in life is determined by two emotions, fear and love. Your soul is made up of the energy of love and fear is an earthly manifestation of a challenge. To embrace and wallow in fear is to go against your very being. Fear, in as many guises, is the obstacle that your soul uses to test its tenacity to stay on track. For a soul, human life can be very difficult, but acknowledging that your soul's true nature is love will always help you on your path. When fear rears its ugly head, it is really an opportunity for you to stare at it in the eye and turn that doubt into trust. View it as a teacher. What lessons are you learning from these fearful emotions? The more you use the energy of love to diffuse fearful situations, the less often they will present themselves. 
Okay, Susan, I hope that uh, applied to you. If it made sense. Now, this one's for Susan. Okay. Well, we have air, lesser air, over um, over the south node, which is Gemini, which is Earth. So we have lesser air over earth. The picture is seeds born on, on the wind, successful fertility, working nature to aid, successful fertility, nature working to aid all things, gentle fresh air. A few from, from high in branches, seeing seeds blown toward fertile brown soil in the next field. The element of earth represents not just unmoving rock and metals, but also the many plants and trees that grow as part of earth's fertile power. Green shoots and healthy crops rely on the life of the soil and the sustenance of the land. When the air lends a gentle hand in this process, it scatters seeds and leaves a new ground. The air itself cannot overcome the earth's solid foundations, but it can aid in its travel and speed to the existing earthly aspects. This is a tremendous and powerful sign for fertility and signifies the healthy rhythm of nature and the relief of refreshing breeze among the trees. Traditional and tradition and traditional movements will not be denied, but their fruit can be can be depended on the future. Since the air is lesser, this is a reading of keeping your mind on the prize. You mustn't get lost in mental distraction, empty talking or overthinking. The treasure here is the element of earth, which represents mundane but important matters, and you should stay grounded. Remember how vulnerable the homework and food on a table is. You should also concentrate on your body. If your mind is racing, you can help stop it by eating, drinking water, and sleeping. Take care of your bodily needs. Move to a different room. Leave the house. Walk for five minutes and see new things. Air's presence here does not mean that thinking is not totally the enemy. It hasn't taken over as the main element, but it is still part of the picture. Earth is often linked with the idea of farming, doing work now and seeing the rewards later. Air's influence takes the seeds grown previously, distributes them to new fertile ground, and the breeze, instead of strong, disruptive wind. It helps with a, fat, a breath of fresh air, stimulating the mind and allowing the communication to bring about the rewards you are due. This light breeze won't be enough to move the situation away from the expected, but there will be no quick travel to new places. This idea will be heard and the plans laid for new beginnings. Logic and well-reasoned arguments can start to bring life and movement to a stubborn situation. Just be careful not to reject the home comforts in favor of what theoretically looks like freedom. Since air tried and failed to be the new situation, look to earth for the answers instead. Okay, keep yourself grounded. I think that's the main, the main idea here. Try to stay uh, level-headed. Keep on the goal, and uh, remember what's really important in life. Or what's 
really necessary in life, I should say. All right, Susan. Next up is Susan. Okay, Susan. Uh, nothing's turned up yet, so let me see what I can get. Okay, I only got three runes for your reading, Susan. Okay, first one shows some sort of family problems. Um, somebody's needing something. Um, let me see. Uh, I, I see an, a period of anxiety possibly coming up, um, of worry. This has caused a, a bit of a problem in the life of you and other members of the family possibly. Um, this is warning you, be careful. Don't allow yourself to be used by others because... Uh, it looks like you're in danger of that coming up. Um, whatever uh, the situation is, it, it says wait. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it says wait. Um, it's a good time for you to be misled and uh, vulnerable. So um, watch out for that. Don't let yourself be used by others. And then I'm seeing a strong period of emotions. Um, psychic energy coming out of you. Um, a, a good time to follow your dreams. Listen to what your dreams are telling you. And... Um, Hmm. Intuition. Great time. So listen to your intuition. What your intuition is telling you is probably what you need to do. Okay. I hope that made some sense to you, Susan. Susan had a dream that she wanted me to try to interpret okay and she said she has this had this dream of about september of last year she dreamed of the governor of her state uh was wearing a mask and dressed in a suit as he always is And then uh, he was just standing there and then somebody whispered into her ear and said something would happen to the governor's health, possibly to his spine. And it, uh, apparently this dream gave her chills. So let me see what uh, aspects of this I can look up. Um, Okay, uh, Okay. now 
aside, uh, Susan, from the possible obviousness of this is that someone's actually telling you what is going to happen. And God forbid it does happen, but uh, this might be a, a premonition you're being given. But if not, here's the interpretation that uh, I can come up with. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, being a government uh, official would indicate uh, for you that you might be going through a period of uncertainty. Um, the masks, I would say offhand, would represent... Uh, illness um, you're worried about uh, getting sick as we all are um, let me uh, I'm, I'm I'm talking as I'm uh, looking here um, okay him wearing the mask can mean possible deceit from uh, that person if they're wearing a mask. But uh, I don't think this book is taking into consideration the health aspect when everyone's wearing masks now. Um, okay, the spine. It might be telling us something. Okay, uh, okay, uh, the back part of it. Um, it. It could be a warning of uh, well what do you what you see as a warning about this this person, this governor uh, something about money and What he's telling people, possibly, either or both of those things. Um, let's see. The whisper in the ear part. Um, there's a all all these details are great because they they all open up to uh, further interpretation, but. Um, and the more detail, the better. Um, whispers. Okay, whispers are a warning to you to control hasty outbursts if you want to avoid unpleasant repercussions. 
Count to at least ten before you speak. It's better to repress than to repent. Okay. Um, so it's warning you against really becoming outspoken about maybe this uh, governor's activities. Um, Let me see, uh, ear, perhaps. Oh, no, I don't think that applies here. Um, Okay, so uh, overall, if this isn't a premonition of yours, that uh, you might have the ability to have, um, then maybe it's a, a something warning you against this person and kind of opening your eyes up to him and what, you know, maybe what you didn't want to believe or felt was unbelievable at the time you know it, it's warning you uh, to listen to your gut feeling and uh it seems like with this person things are not as he's making them out to be um and it also warns you though against uh really speaking out about it Maybe uh, you might upset people that do like him. Um, or maybe you're afraid to speak out because you might be afraid of hurting other people. There's a good possibility that it will. It will bother other people. So um, maybe uh, just... Uh, don't share it with others, you know, especially other supporters of his. <laughs> but uh, I, I hope maybe, Susan, that, that might explain your dream to you a little bit. And the last one we have is for Susan, the winner of the... Well, in her case, it's a five reading drawing. Okay, Susan. Okay, I see that you've had good news coming your way from all directions, or you will soon have good news coming your way. Um, especially when it comes to the family, it looks like. Um, also, money's an issue in here, too, a big issue. Um, to start off with, uh, looks like the job's going good, or your job hunt, maybe, is going good, or something you've been working on, uh, trying to make, it's going to come out, and it's going to turn out for the best. You're going to be very happy. 
uh, good news of coming or has just hit of a family issue or the home, something related to the home. In the past, I see your sense of judgment might have been off a little bit. I'm not sure what that relates to. But then uh, there's good news about money. Or someone gave you a gift of some value. Or they maybe even gave you money outright. But whatever it was, it just looks like it wasn't enough. Okay, that it looks like the household's a little bit on shaky ground when it comes to financial issues. You don't know what to do. Okay, you're kind of uh, trying to figure out how you're going to get out of this situation. You're you're daydreaming and thinking about it before you're acting on thinking about what other options are out there. Okay. Um, now this guy is bringing some bad news about the, the family situation, the home life or something. It looks like things at home are kind of uh, really up and down, a little bit rough, but uh, in this reading it's it's very up and down. Um, once again, it kind of relates back to this card. Something you've been working on is going to pay off, you know. It's a good time for producing things and getting things accomplished. You know, anything you work on is going to be, you know, perfect. It's going to turn out exactly as you wanted. Also, possibly a birth in the family. I'm not sure about that, but uh, that's always a possibility with that card. Now, this one kind of relates back to this one. You're struggling with an idea, a decision to make. What well, looks like you'll make a decision finally. You'll have come to a, a clear decision on what to do. And whatever it is, it's going to pay off because there's good news coming for the household. Or some somebody's going to give you something. It's going to involve the household, uh, the family, something along those lines. It looks very positive coming up. So, you know, you just plan out what you need to do. You'll come to a decision and, yeah, that job thing too. Uh, working on something that's very, very positive at this time. All right, Susan, hope that uh, relates to you somehow. And there we go. I want to thank you all for joining us. Thanks for your I'm happy to do your readings, as always. Um, and I'll do some more here, maybe uh, within the next week or so. I'll put out an announcement when I'm going to do them. Um, so you all have a great uh, rest of your week. I know it's Sunday. you got a lot to go yet. But uh, you have a great rest of your week. And uh, I'll see you all later. Peace. And remember, believe. Believe.